Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is a, a quick video even though I'm going to show you a little printing so it won't be that quick but um, I just kind of wanted to show you um, how I might do something like an apron. Okay, as a screen printer uh, who does t-shirts you will get asked to print uh, a lot of different things and one of the first things you're going to do is check the material and make sure that the material that you're printing on is, is uh, you know, proper for the ink that you're going to use or vice versa. Use the correct ink for whatever it is that you're printing if it's an odd item. Okay, and I'm just going to show you how I run through this. This is a particular job I have that I've done before and um, it's one of those kind of jobs that you get by either being a really, 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 really good salesman with a lot of determination and skill or um, you just know somebody okay so I happen to um, <clears throat> know somebody so I have a, a little Southwest Airlines job that I do once in a while for some crew members and uh, I, you can see I'm using a screen that I had used for them in the past and, but this time you know they just wanted a couple aprons there's just two aprons that's it you know and so I taped off, uh, you know, this part that was from the previous job we had done, but we didn't, we just wanted the, the Southwest, you know, logo and stuff on there. So I just taped it off. Also for this, because it's just a two-piece uh, job and, you know, I'm doing it as a favor for, for them, so, um, you know, because it's not a huge order, um, you know, white ink might look really good. Well, white ink might look really good on both of these or look okay on both of these, but I don't want to use white ink and black ink I thought would probably look good on the red, but not so good on the blue. So I decided to go in between and I'm going to use a gray ink. Okay, and the gray ink will, you know, it should look good on both of these and be a nice compromise to uh, not being white. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because white would just probably pop too much on these, you know, it would just be a little too stark. Okay, so uh, it's pretty simple. I'm going to eyeball these, really, is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to line the screen up in the press, and then when I put the apron on the palette, I'm basically going to eyeball it and get it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get it into position, and you'll see how I look underneath and stuff, and just kind of eyeball it into place, and then I print it. All right, so I'll move in the camera so you can get a little bit better shot of the printing area, and we'll set it up. Okay, so this is pretty simple. Um, I've got just a really simple crosshair on there that I did one day when I was in a rush. Okay, so um, I'm just going to slap the screen in here. I'm going to move this down so I can get my lines near, near the design so I can see what's going on. Okay, and I will use a ruler because that's a little bit easier for me just to judge, you know, about five inches either side, you know what I'm saying, that looks good. That's a good way of quickly telling where, where you're at. Okay, so that's, that's it, the screen's set up. All right, now forgive me, I have a couple screens in here today because, you know, I'm, I'm a little busy right now. So there are a few jobs up in the press that I just haven't gotten a chance to take out. But there we go, there's that. Okay, so now I'm going to ink up the screen and then I'll be right back and we'll put the uh, apron on the palette. Okay, first thing, first things first for this. We've got to put some of this on here. And now what I will do is eyeball, what I want to do is find out where the design is right now. So I'm over here, you know, bending down at the press, taking a look at where the design is. Okay, and now 
I'm going to, based on that look, I'm going to put one on here and see where I would put it. it I think it's going to be somewhere right about there. I'm going to use the pocket and the, you know, the pocket and the pocket edges to kind of get it straight. And, you know, again, this is one of those things where you'll find that, you know, pockets and things that are stitched together are not stitched together 100% perfectly. So you have to, sometimes you have to wing it. Now I'm just going to take an eyeball and look, see where I'm at. And I think I can see, oops, sorry about that guys, I hit the camera. I think I can see where I want to be. I'm going to use this edge down here as a guide for the edge for, for where I want to be as far as the, this level, this pocket. Okay, and then, you know, that's, it's, that's about it. This, this apron doesn't look all that straight. So now I'm going to make sure that it's tacked down pretty good. You want to make sure it's flat. You know, I don't know. I'm going to take another look and see. Try not to hit the camera. And take a little bit of a look. It actually looks pretty good. And I, I would say that's probably a good spot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my little uh, heat gun ready just for the video. I would normally just take this right off of the, you know, right off of the uh, press. Okay, you'll see I, I haven't done a test print or anything. That's because I'm awesome. No, that's just because I'm very comfortable with what I'm doing. Okay, so there it is. It, it needs a little more ink. And that's it. It's done. And it looks like it's in a pretty good spot. Came out good. Good spot. So that's it. Now, I'm going to just tack this up a little bit. I'm just, I'm just doing that so that I can take it off of the palette right now. Remember where I am for positioning, but I'm going to take it off and we're going to do the other one really quick. Okay, so mental note, make sure the camera tripod is not in my way next time because it kind of is right now. <laughs> so. So, wow, this one looks really crooked. I don't know if you can see that, but the whole top looks like it's going off, and I'm not sure if that's an illusion or what's going on there. So you gotta just, you know, these are, these are weird things. And t-shirts can be like this too, you know. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those deals that, now this is really bad as I see this now. Hmm. Okay. There's not much I can do. I think I need to stick to the formula and just get it in my general spot. And I think a lot of it is the fold is causing an illusion and making me think it's a lot more crooked than it is. So we're just going to go for it. Okay. Sometimes in screen printing, you just got to go for it. in here but you know what I think that looks good and that's it so it's pretty cool just looking at it debating should I hit it again nah you know what a lot of the times you know nine times out of ten if you think should I hit it again if, if it's debatable it's like borderline leave it big leave good enough alone because when you overwork something you have a good opportunity to mess it up so that's it just a little quick video I don't know maybe it's not so quick but 
little video on how to print some aprons. These are 100% cotton aprons, so I'll end up running them through my oven now. I gotta turn that on and heat the place up and get all nice and hot and sweaty and then run these through the oven and they will be permanent and that's it. All right, thanks a lot for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. Please uh, help support the uh, video project by visiting the website and uh, you know, if you'd like to buy some screen printing supplies from one of the vendors on the print supplies page, make sure to use the Catspit code and uh, you know, it saves you some money, you get a discount and it helps support uh, what I'm doing online and keeps the free information coming. So thanks a lot. I really appreciate the support. And if you like what you see, please subscribe.